Hello and welcome to jkkmobile.com This time I'm showing you the new instant on uh, operating system from Santros It's called Presto and they're marketing it right now quite heavily Heavily and you can uh, actually download the new beta version from prestomypc.com So that's what I'm testing here now But right now we are still on Windows I have just uh, downloaded and installed it, but I will show you the process also. So you download about 500 megabyte file, just double click on that and it installs it. No stupid questions whatsoever, it just installs. And then ask you to reboot to access the Presto. But before we do that, I want to show you that actually they are using quite nice uh, method of installing it on Windows uh, because they're using the normal Windows uh, boot menu so uh, next time you boot you will see the option for your current Windows or then to Presto so and you can uh, actually edit the menu from from uh, Windows uh, XP on itself so right now it's set it up to boot uh, to default which is XP Pro and have 30 second uh, time time there and then the second option is Chantros Presto so you can modify that timing and, and uh, priority if you want later but let's shut down shut down my XP now or oh, actually let's restart it so you can see the boot menu and presto in action so oh, of course the main main thing for inst uh, instant OS is, is to fast boot to uh, something basic and uh, you can soon see how fast it is so this is the boot menu normal windows boot menu and I will choose now the Sandros presto Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that's it. We are now on desktop. Let's launch. Let's launch the Firefox, so you can see how fastly it goes. Not yet. Let's try again. So it needs to also access the network. It's on Wi-Fi right now. Not yet now we should be yeah now we are online so this is how long it takes with my computer my computer is e EPC 900A with a faster uh, SSD so this is what you should expect and immediately as you can see we have a standard Firefox here but before we go through that I want to show you the the menu or or a taskbar here what we have here is a firefox icon i am so it's instant messenger and it has quite many protocols over here so nicely available most of the basics okay so that's a good thing then the second thing uh, third thing is skype and it's the linux uh, version 2.0 again worked fine I tested it earlier then we have file access which means uh, we have access to the Windows part of, of, of the of my drive so I have access to my documents my videos everything on the on the drive so that's a nice feature so if I have some file there uh, I can easily access that or, or copy uh, files from this system to uh, to my Windows system then we have application store and this is nice for uh, instant OS like this because typically you can't install anything but on this case you can so it's already has there other than the ones I already showed it has full office suite real player PDF weaver and I've just installed also the a screen capture utility but let's first check the spread speed spreadsheet on open office just for fun so you can see how it works so everything is just like 
like on open office it should be so we can close that uh, yeah so I installed the screen capturing uh, utility from the from the uh, application store and it seems to be easy thing I'm not familiar with Linux and the process was easy so I just have to go to application store and uh, that's just a website so then I can pick up oh actually I think I open it Firefox twice so let's try again okay now it should work yep and the application store actually looks really nice so it's easy to navigate easy to find stuff it has uh, nice uh, nice options uh, and uh, quite many softwares so here is a lot of softwares you can pick and install and the install process like I uh, told you is quite easy so you just pick let's say if there is something really small that's 70k so let's check that there is more info about this software I have no idea what it is but but you can actually buy and install this so we are not buying we just want something free so there is free and not free software so so maybe we should install Picasa Google Picasa so it's downloading first the loader file and then it asks if I want to uh, download the full file and then install it and I'm not doing that but it's really straightforward easy 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 thing let's cancel so a lot of applications easy to install and so on uh, then the next thing over here is a Windows list and uh, this is something I didn't like so actually if I now want to go from application store to to uh, web browser I always have to hit here or use uh, alt tab to access different software so uh, you can't actually minimize the softwares which was first uh, frustrating but actually I don't think if I mind it anymore then we have a volume setting and the main volume is for some reason uh, named as PCM which I think is stupid but this is the main volume we also have the line out mic boost capture and digital there so basics then we have a screen resolution settings here again that's a good thing then the Wi-Fi and this is nice because this was really easy to use so you just click on the Wi-Fi link and you can immediately see the list of available networks and then just pick one and put your password if needed and so on that was really easy then we have the battery life meter which didn't work 100% on mine it was telling telling that battery was fully charged right now it's telling that even even it's not and the instant messenger actually is now now there let's shut it down so so instant messenger and skype and uh, other stuff goes there to the what's that called maybe system tray or something but one of the first things when I started to use was that I didn't like this uh, launcher bar or whatever here but the good thing is that I can actually customize it and put it somewhere else so I can move it around to any place now I want to put it down here just like on Windows and I can also make, make it smaller so now I put it just 30 pixels and uh, fixed position down so now everything's down here just like on Windows and I want to keep it that way so now when I'm launching softwares uh, I can use it easier because I'm used to have everything down here and if I click another time to the uh, Firefox it actually hides it and, and brings it back again and again so uh, again it's okay but I would prefer having stuff minimized on the bar like on windows because this is tot totally targeted as uh, to the windows users because you ha even have to install this from windows but this is one way to do it of course and alt tab is working fine then we have of course a clock here and there is nothing special on that overall i think this is very nice i don't 
think I need it because my XP is booting fast anyway. But if you have a lousy Vista system and you sometimes just need the internet fastly, I think that's a nice thing. Uh, not so nice thing is that uh, this costs actually, this is not free, uh, they are selling it for $20. Uh, dollars, but uh, charge uh, uh, by looking at the build quality and the ease of use. I think if you need something like this, I think it's worth it. Uh, especially as Firefox is full Firefox, which you can easily customize. Like you can see, I already moved all my buttons on the top, like I always do on these small devices, and. Uh, so you can easily customize it as you wish. You can you can have uh, sidebars open just like on normal Firefox 3. You can install add-ons uh, or disable the Sontras Presto add-on, which is actually just making the Firefox look more like a Windows Windows version and not the Linux version. I I'm I think this this uh, is uh, well built. It seems to be good quality, I've only used this for a few hours. Uh, what I'm missing here is uh, ability to change my keyboard layout because I'm not using English keyboard and this uses def uh, defaults to English keyboard and also I'm missing a standby so it, dis it doesn't have standby feature. You can only either restart or shut down. Uh, one nice feature was that my uh, Brightness uh, from from a keyboard setting. The brightness settings works nicely. Volume setting didn't work, but uh, that's not that big deal because I can I can do it from the from the system itself. So on the first few hours of use, this is quite nice. Good good start I would say. Good really good for beta. Uh, I've been testing so much uh, worse. Linux beta builds uh, before or an instant on softwares and this is really something I must say it's well built, good looking, it works and uh, that's what we need when we need something instantly on. So that was all for now. Thank you all for watching. This was checkkmobile.com. Something more next time. Thank you, bye.